dear student you are welcome to an english class of grade 10 unit 3 but today dear student we will be talking about some grammatical lessons under grammatical lessons we talk about reporting questions and reporting commands and the reporting questions and reporting commands are related to reported speech or narration and the exercises which are related to unit number 2 and unit number 3 of your English textbook. Are you all ready with your textbook, exercise book and pen? Please be ready. Let's see the following examples. Dear student, you are asked to write the following questions. 1. He said to me, what is your name? A. He said to me, comma, inverted comma begin, what's your name? What's your name? Question and there is inverted comma. So, dear student, in this question, in this question, there are two clauses. The first one is this clause is known as reporting clause. This clause is known as reported clause. And in this clause, it has some, let's say, subject verb and agreement, or this clause combines with subject verb and object and this is reported clause this is reporting clause this is reporting clause and this is reported clause reported clause and in this clause also there is a subject there is a verb and there is an object so now, and this sentence is known as an interrogative sentence, you know, interrogative sentence. Now we are changing this sentence into indirect speech. This is a direct speech. How do we identify a direct and indirect speech? When a clause, when a reported clause is in inverted comma. We know that that particular sentence is known as direct sentence, direct speech. And when there is no inverted comma, the sentence is known as indirect speech. And there is no connectives by joining the two clauses in direct and indirect. We do not have a connectives here. That is why it is a direct statement. How can we change the direct statement into indirect one? There are some certain rules. Can you change this direct speech into indirect one? Can you try? Good. Excellent. Now, let us practice. He asked me. He said change into asked we have to omit this connectives here while changing an indirect one so me you can write this form we change he as a he only said becomes asked we delete to and there is an object me and we use me 
as an object in indirect speeds. Now, as I said before, while joining these two clauses in indirect speeds, sometimes we use to, sometimes we use e for weather, sometimes we use wh word. First of all, you have to identify the sentence. What type of sentence is it? This is an interrogative sentence. Interrogative sentence, we have two types of interrogative sentence. One is asno interrogative, another one is wh interrogative. Asno interrogative, it begins from a verb and wh interrogative, it begins from a wh word. So, what type of interrogative sentence is it? Can you guess? Very good. This is wh interrogative. So, when there is a wh interrogative, we do not use any connectives here. The same wh word can be used as a connectives. That is why what? Okay. Now, see again. What is your name? Is is a simple present tense. It is used in simple present tense. While changing a direct statement into indirect one and the change of tense, simple present becomes simple past, right? And this is pronoun and this is second person pronoun. It changes according to what? The object of reporting clause. What is an object? me is an object, I will show you the chart later on. Uh, you just listen now and after showing the chart, you will be more clear about it. So, pronouns are changed accordingly. So, he asked me what? What? Now, we have to change this pronoun. Your, it is changed with the object of reporting clause. So, it becomes what? my, what my, now, name is becomes past words, there is full stop, what my name was, now it becomes what, it becomes indirect form and there is full stop at last. Okay, the next one, let us see this uh, next question. B. She said to me, she said to me, comma in but comma begin. Are you writing a letter? Are you writing? Or later, there is a question. Look at another sentence. She said to me, she is asking, this is what? Reporting clause. First clause is known as reporting clause. In this sentence, are you writing a letter? This is what? An interrogative sentence, but this is an as no interrogative sentence. Why it is as no interrogative? It begins from a verb. So, how can we change this sentence into indirect speech? Can one of you write the answer? Good. Now, C said changes uh, into asked. She asked me. We have to delete these connectives. Why? We are using another con connectives. To uh, she asked me when there is an interrogative sentence, we use while joining these two clauses, we use either if or whether as a connectives. If okay, if now this is a question, so we have to change it into statement. If we are changing this question into statement. What do we need? We need a subject. What will be the subject? 
Here is a pronoun. You changes according to the object of reporting class. What is a rep, uh, what is an object of reporting class? Me. Me is not an ob, uh, subject. And what is the subjective form of me? I. Very good. I. Now, are you writing? In which tense the sentence uh, is in? It is in present continuous. When the sentence is in present continuous, so while changing this statement into indirect speech, we have to change it into past continuous. So, I was writing, writing a letter. There is full stop. So, I have shown you two examples. One is WH interrogative, another one is S no interrogative. Now, let us talk one more example. He said to me, he said to me, comma, inverted comma, sit down. Sit down. This is what? Commands. Imperative sentence. Why? The sentence begins from a verb and it has some command, it has some order, some request, some suggestion. So, how can we change this sentence into indirect speech? Can one of you say? Very good. Again, it has reporting clause, it has reported clause, there is a subject, there is verb, reporting verb, there is an object of reporting clause and so on. Now, if we change the sentence into indirect speech, we can say, he told, said becomes told, me, now, here is a question, we need a connective here, conjunction here. When there is an imperative sentence, we use to as a connective, to, to, okay. Now, Sit down. Full stop. This is how we can change the direct speech into indirect one when there is the imperative sentence and when there is an interrogative sentence. So, I have shown you many examples related to reporting questions and reporting commands. Let us talk. Niru said to me, in this sentence, Niru said to me is a reporting clause, don't stop me is a reported clause. So, how can we change the sentence into indirect one? Here we go. Niru told me not to stop her. When there is negative, so we use not to. And this sentence, this one is an imperative sentence. Why? It begins from a verb. Next one. The general said to the soldier, suit, look at, command, order. As I said, according to the demand of the uh, questions or situation, we use reporting verb, for example, commanded, for example, ordered, for example, said, sometimes told, sometimes inquired, sometimes insisted, sometimes instructed, ok. The general commanded or ordered the soldier to suit, this is also an imperative sentence. While joining these two clause, we used to, as I said already, ok. Next, he said to me, please wait for him. Please requested. It, it demands requested as a reporting verb. So that he requested me to wait for him. Okay. Next one. She said to them, don't make a noise. How can you change the sentence into indirect speech? It becomes 
she told them not to make noise or sometimes we use she forbade them to make a noise. When we use this forbade, we do not have to again make negative, this word itself is negative. Next, Rajesh said to me, do you like lemon in your tea? Rajesh asked me, this is again as no interrogative sentence. If you changes according to me, me is an, as I said, me is an objective form of I. So, while changing me as a subject, it becomes I. Like is a V1 form of the verb or simple present tense form of the verb, it becomes simple past. So, that I liked layman in again y o u r your is also pronoun, second person pronoun. It changes according to this me. So, this is an again objective form. So, that the objective form of me is here my, mighty. Now, these are the questions that I have shown you for practice. Dear students, as I said earlier, we are discussing the issues related to reporting questions and commands of unit number 2 and 3. Grammar 1, change the following sentences into indirect speech. Are you working tonight? If you see your book, there is a clue, Agamemnon asks Timothy. It is given in your textbook, look at your book and it is again an in interrogative, as no interrogative, there is if he was working that night. Is this the road to the station? A stranger wanted to know from me, this is given in your textbook, the remaining part you can only write, if that was the road to the station. This is what? First of all, you have to identify the sentence, whether it is interrogative or a imperative. If there is interrogative, either it is WH interrogative or as no interrogative. Did you do your homework? What is your answer? Can you guess? My friend inquired her if she had done her homework. This part is in your textbook. Did you find it? Good. So, this is also as no interrogative. Did you do your homework? It is in past, simple past tense. When a verb is in simple past, it becomes past perfect. That is why had done is there. Okay. Have you been to Paris? The tourist was asked if I had been to Paris present perfect change into past perfect. When there is a direct speech is in present perfect tense, while changing this into indirect speech, it becomes past perfect tense. That is why he had been to Paris. You changes according to the what? The object of reporting clause. The tourist was asked if he, you changes according to the tourist. E, how long have you been working in this company? This is WH interrogative. It changes with Usa inquired of Anju how long she had been working in that company. So, here is that. Why there is that? There are some certain words, a time adverbials, they change accordingly. So, this changes into that. Okay. I will show you in the chart. F. What flavor ice cream did you have at the party? First of all, you have to identify the sentence. My mother asked me what flavor ice cream I had had at the party. Have you studied reported speech before? Again, there is a question. The teacher wanted to know if I had studied reported speech before. Where will you st stay tonight? I asked him where he would stay that night, tonight changes into that night. This is also a WH interrogative, so we do not use any other connectives. So, WH word can be used as a connective here. So, use uh, changes according to the object of reporting clause. 
there is a he, so that we, we use uh, he as a subject, will changes into past would, again there is a stay, stay uh, there is no, not change in tonight, changes into that night. How many players were shown yellow card by the referee? Sumangal asked his friend how many players had been shown, were shown, okay. Uh, simple past uh, becomes past perfect, okay, had been shown yellow card by the referee. J, what magic did the medicine have on the patient? What is your answer? Sarita wanted to know from Shomaya. This part is given in your textbook. Look at your textbook, uh, dear student, and write the remaining part only. What magic the medicine had done on the patient? Okay. So, this is what one exercise related to reporting questions and reporting commands. B, change the following remarks into reported speech. Again, there are many questions. The more questions we practice, the more we are confident. So, practice again. Kritika asked me, why did you go out last night? What is the indirect speech of this statement? Look at here, Kritika asked me, Kritika is a subject of reporting clause, asked is a verb of reporting clause, me here is an object of reporting clause, why did you go out last night? There is an interrogative sentence, wh interrogative sentence. So, how can we change it? There, we do not need any connectives when there is wh interrogative, so that Kritika asked me, sometimes we can say Kritika told me, sometimes we can say Kritika said me, why the same wh word can be used as a connectives and did you go out last night? There is a question, where is a, you, it changed according to me, okay, but we need a subject here, what is the subjective form of me, I exactly, so you changes into I. Did you, now did, here is simple past tense, so according to the tense, change of tense, simple past changes into past perfect, so that had, had we used and go becomes gone, out last night can be changed into previous night. It becomes, Kritika asked me why I had gone out the previous night, it becomes an indirect form of Kritika asked me, why did you go out last night? Similarly, we have so many questions and examples. Let us see. Who was that beautiful woman? Usa said Sunita. Sunita asked Usa who that beautiful woman had been. How is your mother? said Gaurav to young Dolma. This is what the indirect form of the statement. Gaurav asked young Dolma how her mother was. My friend wanted to know, what are you going to do at the weekend? My friend wanted to know, what I was going to do at the weekend. Where will you live after graduation, said my teacher. My teacher asked me, where uh, I would live after graduation. Anusha said to Melissa, what were you doing when I saw you? Anusha asked Melissa what she had been doing when she had seen her. I said to pilgrims, how was the journey? I asked the pilgrims how the journey had been. These are what? The questions related to reporting commands and questions, okay. And how often do you go to cinema, said Krishna. Krishna asked me how often I went to the cinema. I, do you live in Patan, said the principal. The principal asked if I lived in Patan. Nira said to Luniva, did Parindra arrive in time? Niroj, Niroj asked Luniva if Parindra had arrived in time. These are what? I have just uh, shown you the examples and uh, the answers only. You can have a lot of practice related to the questions related to reporting commands and questions, okay. 
Now, grammar 2, rewrite the following sentences using the correct alternatives from, from brackets. Can you do? Can you select the correct alternatives? A. Sujita asks a mother. What is the possible answer here? Can you guess it? It is also related to uh, reported speech. When her father would come home or when will her father come home or when might her father come home? What is the best alternatives? You have to uh, judge. You have to judge and evaluate the use of connectives, the use of tense, the use of reporting verbs and so on. Even time words as well. Can you guess what is the possible answer? Yes, you are right. When her father would come home. B. She replied that she had never had caviar. When I said to her, caviar? Have you ever had? Will you have? Would you have? What is your possible answer? Yes, you are right. Have you ever had? And C. The salesperson said to him, what? I can do, can I do or I could do for you. Of course, what can I do? D. The tourist inquired from me, what is the possible answer to Banepa? Yes, whether I belong to Banepa. E. The little girl asked us what time, where we supposed, we were supposed, we had been supposed. Yes, we were supposed. F. The head teacher asked her, the exam from the week before, whether she had filled out, whether she fills out, whether had she filled out. What is the possible answer? Yes, whether she had filled out. Renuka asked me, and you need to feel a verb here, word here, her, if I have called her, if I had called her, if had I called her, if had I called her. Now, dear student, uh, here is a short paragraphs. So, Nehar Choudhury interviewed her social study teacher last week. Here is the reported a report prepared by her after the interview. Read it carefully and list out direct questions asked by Nehar. Okay, this is what your task to read it out, read it out, and find out the reported. Uh, questions or reported direct reported questions and so on and underline them. You can read it and find out the direct reported questions. Okay. Now, again grammar 1a, study the following table. It is also given in your textbook day student. Observe how the imperative sentences change from direct speech into indirect speech. Let us see and observe the following sentences and the, all the sentences are related to imperative sentences. Okay, how they change into indirect speech. In one column, there are some sentences and they are in direct quote, they are in direct speech and in another column, there are some other sentences, they are given in indirect speech. If you just see your textbook, it is given there. She said, keep quiet, changes into she instructed me to keep quiet. Please close the window, the teacher said. The teacher asked me to close the window. Look at the use of conjunction in, uh, in the sentence, change of tense in the sentence, change of pronouns in the sentence. The doctor said, don't over it. The doctor urged me not to over it. She said, take the test next week. She advised them to take the test next week. So, the remaining sentences you can just read and observe how these sentences can be changed into indirect speech yourself by consulting your textbook. Change the following sentences into indirect speech. The beginning of each sentence is given. Please help me fix the machine. You can change the sentence into indirect speech. I am just giving you the question and you can answer yourself, okay? Uh, but make sure I am showing you the answer as well. Don't please switch on the fan. Help me with my homework, please. My friend requested me to help him uh, with his homework. Lend me some money, please. She asked me to lend her some money. Do your homework. The teacher told me to do my homework. Don't smoke. 
The doctor forbade the students to smoke. When we use forbade, there must be positive. When we use uh, ax or tor, there must be not to smoke. Okay? Don't make a mess. Look at here. My mother forbade us to make a mess. Now, circle the correct words to complete the sentences. You can circle it. A to do, B don't shout, C to eat, D speak, E not to tell anyone, F get. Now, in this sentence, let me tell you uh, okay, you can guess. For example, the doctor told me why there is to do. This is an indirect speech. When there is an indirect speech, there is connectives. And when there is direct speech, there is inverted comma. So, when there is direct speech, verb from verb is used. And when there is indirect speech, you can simply guess 2 plus verb is used. That is why this is indirect 2 plus verb. This is direct, do not shout, only verb. Okay? Similarly, the doctor forbade me to eat. Why? This is indirect. This When there is indirect, there is 2 plus verb 1. Okay? I told her, you can simply guess, there is inverted comma, direct speech, speak only. In this way, you can guess it. Uh, the mountain guide warned him. What do you think? Is, uh, is it a direct speech or indirect one? Of course, this is indirect one not to take. Sugam said to me, there is inverted comma, you can guess it easily. So, we need a verb only go. He ordered us go, got out or to get out of his way. What do you think? Direct or indirect? As I said, when there is direct, there is 2 plus verb 1. When there is, sorry, when there is indirect 2 plus verb 1, when there is direct, there is no 2 plus verb 1 only inverted comma is used. Okay. Now, the next one, dear student, I am just showing you the questions. You can have a lot of practices yourself. There are many questions. It is also given in your textbook. Uh, look at the screen and just remember and note down the questions and answer, right? You can have a lot of practices related to reporting commands and reporting questions. And the questions are also given in your textbook. Now, Dear student, let me explain how the tense of direct speech changes into indirect one. When there is the verb is in present simple in the direct speech, we need to change it into past simple. When a verb in the direct speech is in present continuous form, it changes according to the structure of past continuous. You must remember this. Past simple changes into past perfect. You know the structure of past simple and past perfect. Okay? When past perfect the sentence is in past perfect structure in the direct speech, it changes into past perfect. It is not changed, no change at all in indirect form. Present perfect, past perfect. When we see the verb is in will, shall, can, may in direct speech, it changes into would, should, could, might. Must and have to changes into had to, should not change. Similarly, here we have the person chart. As I have told you before, first person, second person, third person, and in the first person, subjective form, objective form, these, were, these are possessive form, uh, P1 and P2, reflexive forms also. You can just see, first person, subjective form, I, it becomes me as an object, my, mine, myself. You can just read out and remember, and you can change the pronouns from direct into indirect accordingly. Okay. Now, change the adverbs in the speech clause. Sometimes uh, we observe and we have seen some words, some time words are there in the direct speech. For example, now and just, 
these words are in direct speech, it changes into then, today and tonight changes into that and that night, this can be changed into that, these, those, here, hence, there, thence, tomorrow, the following day or the next day, yesterday, the previous day or the day before, last, the previous, ago, before, next, the following, thus, so. You have to remember the change of adverbs in the speech clause. This you must remember. Now, reporting verb change. In simple uh, sentence, when we have reporting verb said, sometimes, sometimes told, okay, uh, it changes into said, and when there is said to, told, in simple sentence. But in interrogative sentence, said changes into asked and inquired. And in an imperative sentence, said, said to, can be changed with told, asked, ordered, suggested, commanded, inquired, and according to the situation. All right, in an imperative sentence. Okay. Conjunction change. How can we change the conjunction? As I said, when there is WH interrogative, when there is S no interrogative, what conjunction do you do we use in? in indirect speech. Interrogative sentence, when there is S no interrogative, if or whether is used. When there is WH interrogative, the same WH word is used. We practiced before. And in imperative, when there is affirmative sentence, to is used. When there is negative sentence, not to is used as a connectives in imperative and interrogative. Okay. So, uh, in this way, you can change the direct sentences into indirect one. Dear student, we can have a lot of practices related to direct speech and indirect speech, related to questions and commands. Collect as many questions as you can from different sources and practice on it. Till then, thank you so much and see you again in the next class. Namaste.